Hello everyone, today I would like to share with you study tips that will change the way you study biology. These tips are based on my own experience teaching the subject for the past 20 years and based on insights I've heard from my students. Some of them have scored world records in this subject. These tips I'm sharing are suitable for both IGCSE biology students and A-level students. Let's assume that you are to study a chapter in biology. We're going to divide this study session into three stages. Stage one is when you prepare to study. The time when you are studying is very important. You should aim to study the topic within 48 hours from the time you have taken this topic with your teacher. If you wait longer, then you're going to have to double the effort because we tend to forget a lot after this span of 48 hours. While studying, avoid any distraction. Keep your phone out of reach. I would leave my phone in a separate room just to make sure that I'm not distracted. If you really need to use your phone during your studying, then aim to block all those social media apps. Third, use the specification to set target on what you're going to study. I've prepared an interactive list of all the topics of IGCSE and A-level. So you can use this list to plan your studying. In stage two, we're going to be applying active reading. Active reading aims to study the more challenging part of the topic, the part that you really don't understand. Study this part first while you still have all the attention and the brain energy. Then move to the parts that are less challenging. While reading, aim to master the key terms. Those words are usually very helpful because you're going to build your answers around them in the next stage. Stage two should not take more than 30 minutes. Don't bother memorizing the content at this stage. Stage three is when we're going to apply active recall. Find classified questions that are directly related to the topic that you've read. Solve the direct questions first. Those questions that start with words like define, list, or label diagrams. This will help you to memorize the content. Color code that questions into three parts. Green for the questions that you already know. Orange for questions that you find more challenging and require further reading. And red for questions that you couldn't solve and you need to refer to the mark scheme for that. Finally, revisit those questions the next day. Aim to solve those questions during your active hours. Personally, I'm more active in the morning, but this will vary from one person to another. This space repetition of solving the difficult questions will help you to retain the information for a long time. I wish you all a very successful and happy academic year, and I'll see you next time.